I'll teach you how to find in Google Analytics for what products people view and add to cart on your site. This way you'll be able to see products with the highest add to cart rate and you can prioritize them in your shop and that way you get higher revenue. <laughs> Hello data people, I'm Robert from clicks.ly and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So let's head to the GA4 dashboard. So to see what products are most viewed and added to cart on your website, you go to your Google Analytics 4 dashboard and you go to reports and then find monetization and e-commerce purchases. Now in yours, it might be called slightly differently. Uh, open up all the tabs and wherever you see e-commerce purchases, uh, this is the report. Basically, you have a couple charts here and then you have the table. This is where the kind of the main information lives. So what can you find out in this report? First of all, you can see the items viewed here. It's usually sorted by, by that anyway. So you can see that, for example, for this store, this product is the most viewed product. Then we have items added to cart. And keep in mind that this counts all the add to cart. So if you have add to cart in your lister page or product page, or even in your cart, this should track all of those. So you need to check how your tracking is set up. But most of the time, people add products to their cart on the product page. Then we have items purchased and items item revenue as well. So you can find out from here your top sellers that way. And before we do that, I just want to mention that sometimes it's easier to look at products by SKU name or ID. So here you have item ID or in your case, it's probably SKU number. So you could also change that and look at that way. I know that in some companies it just works better that way. You'll notice that this report really focuses on the product page and how many products are added to the cart. It doesn't mention the lister page at all. Fortunately, we could add those metrics to this report or we could create another report that just focuses on lister pages. And I'll show you in a second how that's done. And by the way, data is not created equal and you should be only looking at data that is relevant to your role. That's why I created a cheat sheet which shows you the most important metrics and KPIs specific to different e-commerce roles. You can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description. So the biggest thing that this report is missing is the add to cart rate. And why is it so important? Well, it basically takes into account both of these numbers. So it divides, it divides the add to carts with items viewed and add to cart rate is super important because you'll be able to see what products are actually doing well. Now, because you have some situations where some product is not really visible, it doesn't have that many views. That means the visitors that see it actually like it and buy it or at least add it to cart. And we want to find out what products are those because sometimes your top uh, product is not uh, doesn't have the highest add to cart rate. And when you have a very really high add to cart rate, you want to kind of push those products higher on your listers, maybe somewhere on your homepage and so on. So it's really important to know this rate. And to do that, you need to head to the admin section. I'm going to switch the properties now because I don't have the rights here to do the things. So you need to have the editor rights. So I'm going to come here and I'm in the admin section. And once you're here, you just scroll down. You should find this custom definitions. And in here, I uh, just head to calculate metrics here. Here, you can click on the create calculated metric. And let's give it a name, add to card rate. And uh, for formula, I'm going to paste this formula in the video description. And you can just copy and paste it in here. For unit of measurement, check if you have percentage here. Right now, I don't have that. It's not yet there. So I'm just going to keep it to standard. And let's save this. There you go. Now it appears there. Now, unfortunately, G4 is missing some other really important metrics, which you can add, but you need to add it as a calculated metric. I prepared a cheat sheet, which you can just download it by clicking on the link in the video description. There I've gathered my, I think it was top seven calculated metrics. You can pick the ones that fit your needs. I even ranked them by their usefulness. So definitely check it out and add those in since you're already here. Okay, so once you've done this, what you can do is now you can head to back to your reports and we're gonna go to the monetization and e-commerce purchases again. And just remember in this, property I don't have much data so I'll just show you how you add the add to cart rate here here you have the pen icon so we'll click on that and now we can click on metrics and then at the bottom we have add metric and you have the add to cart rate or just look for it if you don't see it immediately so let's add it add to cart rate and I like to actually put it here so it's clear that items viewed items added to cart and then you have the add to cart rate then two other metrics that 
you could add here is if you type list, you have that items clicked on in the list and items viewed in the list. And these ones are kind of interesting. If you want to look at how well your listers are performing, you could add additional calculated metrics where you could see a lister to product page rate. And also later, you could also add product page to purchase rate. So those are kind of interesting values you could add to this report. For now, I'm not going to add it just to keep it simple. And let's just save this report. Save it here like this. And now if I go back. I will see that add to cart rate here like this. Now, when you see this rate, remember that this will be 0.1. That's 10%. Yeah. Or you might you might see like 0.05. That means that's 5%. So it's a percentage. Now you know what products are viewed the most on your site, but GA4 default reports are full of metrics and dimensions you just don't need and using them will waste your time. That's why you should watch this video next to learn the most useful reports in GA4.